I'm Gary Uhl, President of Bridgewood Farms Homeowners Association. I also represent over 2,000 potential voters from six other subdivisions who agree with me that the water tank project does not belong in any residential area. <coughs> now, it dawned on me in December last year that most of you may not be familiar with the site where, where you want to place the Northwest tank. So on December 9th, I sent an email to each member of council and the mayor that invited you along with the presidents of adjoining subdivisions to join me any day that week or the next at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to walk the property. I also said I would be available any day or every day because of your busy schedules. I know Mr. Rosen and Yalamanchi live close by and are familiar with the site. Mr. Weber replied that he attended Adams High, was very familiar with the site. Mr. Brennan declined but replied, I am familiar with the area, but I appreciate the invitation to walk the property. I received no reply from the rest of you. I'm kind of a visual person, so tonight I thought I'd bring the site to you. In a brief presentation I call, What Are You Thinking? Here is the site. You will level the shaded area in the park, put a 10-foot barbed wire top chain link fence around it, and plop a 30-foot tall, 130-foot diameter concrete tuna can about where it's shown, containing 11,000 tons of water. Note the slope of the land toward Adams High School. This is the west, this is the view east from that spot toward Adams High School. This is the view west from Adams High School before and after. What are you thinking? <coughs> this is the view south and, no and the view north from the adjacent subdivision across Tinkin Road before and after. This is the view west in the adjacent subdivision and the view east from a deck in that subdivision before and after. What are you thinking? Would you want a tuna can in your backyard? This graphic shows how out of character this monstrous structure would be in a residential setting. The people approve funds for parks and green spaces and this is what they get you have doomed every future millage for parks or green space, for they will have to carry the caveat, we will buy the land as green space, but we'll do with it as we please. Further, if you have to ask the city attorney to render an opinion about whether, whether he thinks you can get away with it, then as Jen Klaus said at the last council Thank meeting, you. it's just wrong. Thank you. Thank do you the right thing. Thank you.